Hello there everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought I would show you guys what I'm taking with me to Disneyland Paris. I always find it interesting what people take with them on their Disneyland Paris or Disneyland, Disney World, whatever trips. Um, just because it's like interesting to see what people take with them. Especially someone that's maybe been um, a couple times, um, it is very interesting to see like what staples they take with them. This is going to be my very first time in Disneyland Paris, however I have taken note from some YouTubers like uh, Sam for God, Adam Hatton, Magical Morning Mouse and other Disney vloggers um, to just kind of like have an idea of what I'm going to take with me. And I thought I would share that with you guys because it seemed like an interesting video. We'll see if it ends up being as interesting. But I think I'll start with showing you guys my cases. So these are the two cases that I'm taking with me. We have this one here, which is my Mickey and Friends Disney suitcase, which I bought from Primark a couple weeks back. And then I just have this rose gold week suitcase, um, which I bought off Amazon at some point. These are the two cases. This is going to be my carry-on case. And then this is going to be checked luggage. And yeah, now I've shown you the cases, I'm just going to go and show you guys what I'm packing in the cases. First, I will show you the outfits that I plan on wearing in the parks I guess we'll just see. The first one is like the main outfit, the character me outfit. Um, it's an outfit that I do want to wear when I specifically go and meet Mickey but I'm also wearing it on the day I plan on being in the Disneyland park and I am also possibly going to wear this when I go to the Plaza Gardens breakfast and that is this Minnie Mouse dress? I'll see if I can find a photo. I don't think I have a photo of me wearing it, but I'll see if I can find a photo of the website I bought it from. I bought it from EMP. Um, and yeah, it's just this mini inspired dress. It's relatively long and it's just a neck tied dress. Then you have the bow here and on the side it does say mini. And yeah, this is going to be like my main outfit. So if I if I want to feel very pretty and make lots of pictures and stuff, then this is the dress. <laughs> and then I just have a couple t-shirts. I try to get some like Disney inspired things. I have this Stitch and Angel t-shirt, which I bought relatively recently from Primark. So maybe you can still get it. Just this, it's a bit baggy, bit oversized. I am just packing leggings in all different lengths be it cycle shorts or um, over the knees or three quarter lengths because it's going to be hot in Disneyland Paris. I then have this beautiful Winnie Pooh t-shirt also got very recently from Primark so maybe you can still grab this. I do not have very many light coloured clothing items which is bad if you're going to a theme park which is outside and it's going to be blaring sun in 28 degrees. Then I have this t-shirt. This I believe is also from Primark but it is a bit older. It's not in a new selection. Then I have this Mulan t-shirt which I bought from Truffle Shuffle two or three years ago when they had their 20th anniversary I think is when this got released and I'm a big fan of Mulan so I bought now I do want to take this spirit jersey with me and take a picture of it in front of the castle. This outfit, so this and obviously this over is what I was planning on wearing um, on travel day. However, it's probably going to be very warm so I don't know how long I'm actually going to be wearing this. Um, maybe in the morning when it's still a bit fresh but it will probably be taken off very quickly however I do want to get a picture with this in front of the castle and if I do end up getting the actual 30th anniversary spirit jersey then I um, will get that and possibly take a picture with that as well but other than that this is probably not going to be worn all that much but yeah for those of you that don't know this is the 30th anniversary loading um, spirit jersey this was 
in the parks just before they started the 30th celebration. It wasn't out for very long and I actually had someone over a Facebook group pick it up for me and I was very happy about it. It's just this on the front, 30 years of magic and then the loading and then Disneyland Paris with the 30 on the back. Then I just have this um, cropped blazer with like mesh on the back. Um, this I'm planning on wearing like over the Mickey Mouse the over the Minnie Mouse dress. Um, this I've had for a couple of years. I got it from I think New Yorker, which is a German clothing shop. But that is the main gist of the clothes that I'm taking with me. Um, yeah, I guess I can show you my park bag actually. This is the park attire. Um, this. Also, it's from Primark. Um, it's part of the 100 range. It's just got Walt Disney's signature and then 100 years. And I have the backpack and the like small crossbody foam bag kind of thing. This is the bag. I just have a Eeyore Munchlings keychain hanging off the side of it, but this is going to be my park bag. And then this, I'm just going to have like easy access to phone, money, stuff that I want to grab quick. And then the rest will be in here. Then we just have the toiletries going from standard stuff from toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner, deodorant to blister plasters and hairspray and sunscreen and after sun lotion because it's going to be hot and sunny and I do not do hot and sunny. I have factor 50 sunscreen with me and I'm going to be lathering myself in it and I'm probably still going to have to put after sun on at the end of the day. Other items that I don't really need to show but I'm going to be taking with me are obviously like jewellery and makeup. There's nothing really much to show you there. Um, jewellery is just going to be like a couple Disney um, pieces that you've probably seen me already wear in some of my videos and then makeup just standard stuff. I bought these on Amazon. They are small silicone foldable lunch boxes. So when they're folded out, they're like this. And I just thought these would be practical for in the park, um, just if we buy something on the go and we don't finish it or whatever, then we can just um, take it along with us. I am gonna take a couple of Ziploc bags as well, but I just thought, I just thought these would be very cool and practical. I do have a couple of heat bandages because I, um, do have back problems generally and especially if I've been walking a lot then I get really bad lower back pain. Um, so I've got some heat plasters, I'm taking a hot water bottle with me and I'm 99% sure our hotel room has a bath. I really hope it does because that would be very helpful because then I'll just like sit in the bath for like 10-15 minutes in the evening just to like decompress. Then I have a travel kettle. It doesn't look like much of a travel kettle. Also folding, also silicon. We love practical silicon folding things. So it looks like this. I just got this off Amazon um, because I do like a good cup of tea. We are staying in the B&B hotel and as far as I am aware they do not have a kettle and tea and coffee in the rooms. So we're taking our own. We are taking our travel mugs with us and I have the folding kettle and an assortment of teas, um, black tea, both normal and decaf and coffee and sugar and coffee creamer. This is um, the essential pack. <laughs> The last thing I'm going to show you guys are these, which are blow up cushions. I got this after Magical Morning Mouse mentioned them. And basically they're two packs from Amazon and they're just these washable blow up 
cushions you if you want to blow it up you put this little bit in and then you blow into here this is then what it looks like when it is blown up and these are very good for when you're just sitting around or standing around more actually but this way you can sit around um, a little bit more comfortably if you're waiting in a long queue or waiting for a parade or fireworks or something so I thought these were very practical and yeah just to open them you just pull out this and it just deflates. Other things I am taking with me which I don't have to show you right now or just because I don't need to show them to you um, are power bank charging cables um, i'm taking an extension lead with uh, probably three um plugs on it just so that we have a bit more cable charging capacity in our hotel room water bottle booking info i need my my magical shuttle info specifically like printed out and stuff and i've got that all printed out it's all where it needs to be I'm going to be taking disinfectant gel and some face masks with me just because if it gets too crowded I am still a little meh about the sea. I don't know, I work in hospital and I still see it going round and I just don't want anything to do with it, so yeah. Um, a little apothecary if you will, you know, just taking some tablets, my allergy tablets, um, pain medication and stuff like that, plasters, blister plasters, just in case it is needed. I mentioned Ziploc bags, I'm going to be taking a couple of them with me as well. Um, did I say water bottle? If I didn't, water bottle. I'm going to be taking my suitcase scale. I am unsure where it is at this time, but we do have one and I want to take that with me because if push comes to shove and I do overpack, um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my carry-on case as overflow because carry on it could only be up to 12 kilos um but if i do end up going over i mean my boyfriend will have some space in his suitcase most likely but if i do end up going over then i will check my carry on case in and then i'll have like a little bit more room but so i know if that's going to happen before i would like to have the suitcase scale with me Yes, headphones, um, I'm gonna take some like snacks, we bought some like muesli bars and knoppers bars and stuff and some nuts just to have as a little snack if we're waiting in line and we want a snack. I'm taking a bath towel just in case I have a small pillow that I usually like to have in bed, I'm taking that with me, I'm taking my anxiety poo bear with me you've seen this guy before it's this guy i take this guy um almost any time i go anywhere he is with me and he is definitely coming on this trip as well because i will need him then one of the other things i have is this neck fan it is going to be hot it's currently sun and 28 degrees anyone that knows me knows that i do not do heat and i do not do sun so it's going to be a very interesting week, um, but yeah, I have this neck fan, it just goes here like so and it has three settings. It is a little bit loud, but honestly, I'd rather be a little bit annoyed by noise than die. Um, so yeah, it just has three settings. This is setting one. Setting two. Setting three sounds like a plane is about to take off, but if it helps, that's all that matters. It's probably only help if I do that. And if I am outside and it is really, really hot, then I will need setting three. I have had this round my neck last year when we had the bad heat and we had like 36 degrees dry and Having that on setting three almost did nothing. Um, yeah. And the last thing I have to show you guys is this. I just have this cap. I bought it 
from Primark as well when I bought the other newer Primark items that I showed you because I only have a black cap and if the sun is shining extremely then my head is gonna get hot really quick so I decided to get this one just to like shade my face a little bit I unfortunately do not own sunglasses because I would need high prescription sunglasses and I do not have money for that right now. I recently got new glasses in these frames and that cost me a lot. So um, eventually I will have prescription sunglasses, but I don't have them at the moment, so hat. And yeah, that is everything I think I have to show you today. Um, when you are watching this video, I should be back from Disneyland Paris actually. Um, so if you want to see what I got up to, then check out my Instagram. It is just at xmikura and a link will be in the description. Um, I don't know if I will have like Disney vlogs or something like that on this channel. I am planning on filming, but I don't know if it will just be for me or if I will share it online. We shall see. I will definitely have lots and lots of photos and maybe like small videos that you can see on Instagram. So definitely check out my Instagram if you would like to see that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what is one essential that you always have to take with you to Disneyland Paris. Um, be it something standard or be it something not so standard like a certain teddy or blow up seat cushions or whatever let me know i would be very interested to know what kind of like standard things you guys take to disneyland paris when you go or any theme park it doesn't have to be disneyland paris if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of my videos then please subscribe down below and maybe hit that notification bell so you will be updated when I upload new videos. Currently, my schedule is Saturdays at 12 p.m. British Standard Time. I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.